ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I do apologize. The screen probably has a black bar on the top and a black bar on the bottom. That's because the game's in Windows mode and I'm too fucking lazy to change it. Uh, we'll fix it in the next part, though. Anyway, um, <coughs> the original plan was to fucking... Like... <laughs> well, we were supposed to... The idea was to skip ahead a few turns so that we didn't have to go through all of this uh, generally building stuff, as it were. We did skip ahead a couple of turns, of course, but not entirely much. We won't build the Mithril Mines, because you keep telling me Barog spawn one, however the hell I do that. Uh, we'll build... Pig Farm or another mine. I think we'll invest in more mines to get more cash. Now, I've, um, I know I kept saying that Ongo's going to continue this series. And the reason I haven't is quite fucking simple, really. It's um, simply that I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> it's an excellent mod and everything. An excellent sub-mod. And it's really quite enjoyable. But I've been playing Hot Seats so much recently that it's just gotten to the point where playing this kind of game is just not fun, really. It's not bad. But it's at the point where it's like, ugh, I'd rather be playing something else. I don't like to record when it's like that, and because it's fucking noticeable when you play the game. If you're not enjoying yourself when you're playing, when you're recording a game, it, it's fucking noticeable when you watch the person playing it that they're not enjoying themselves. So I try to avoid that and fucking the best I can, but everyone keeps going, "Ah, oh, play it, play it, play it," and I'm like, "Ah, oh, but I don't want to." <laughs> but we don't have anything else to upload on Monday and Tuesday, so we have to anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna fucking play it and. Uh, this will probably be the last fucking series that I do versus any AI. At least any, like, prolonged series. If any Westeros stuff that we do will be quite short and, like, six parts at the maximum kind of thing. Uh, Crusader Kings 2, I still, like, really enjoy and everything. And the Hot Seat series that will continue to up, uh, record and upload those as they get completed. But as you know, the Hot Seat series take long because... Well, I, I can't force the other players to play. I mean, sometimes it can take an entire week just to do one turn in a single hot seat. Depending on how big the hot seat is, how many players there are, and how fast those players do their turns. And how fast I do mine. So hot seats are kind of limited to being uploaded whenever the hell I can. They don't really have a schedule whatsoever because they can't have a schedule. They can't have a set schedule because I can't tell you when they're going to be... When I'm going to have enough footage recorded in order to pull it off. So yeah, uh, I don't know. We will we'll continue and, and do this series, but it gets to a point where it's like, eh, do we, we really have to kind of thing? That'll be our next target. I want to get some more troops though before we move up to the north and take the, more of those musty mountains. But yeah, um, we got this on Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday we've got the Crusader Kings 2 series, which I enjoy doing that. Um, Mountain Blade and Skyrim, I'm doing both of those just because they're easy to record on like Thursday and Fridays. Yeah, Thursday and Fridays, and then you Saturday you got Crusader Kings 2 again. I don't know. We're going to have to look for something else to record, and I have found something, actually. Like, something completely random and that I've came across on watching on YouTube. Because I don't really watch YouTube much anymore, to be perfectly honest. After I, like, started recording and stuff, it's got to the point where I'm like, ah, I, I'll, I'll make videos for YouTube. And I'll enjoy recording them. But, yeah, I, I only watch a few, like, select YouTubers now. Just, like, when I'm bored and tend to watch their videos. So it's weird. You get into YouTube and start making, money, like, a bit of money from it and stuff. And you watch YouTube a hell of a lot less than you did previously, which is really weird. Our armies and supply lines are now operating at full capacity and our war effort has achieved maximum efficiency. Once it's necessary for soldier civilities provided our finest warriors, blah, 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 we need to march into victory. Sweet. And we've got a gift from the douchebags. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea what that means. I assume that unlocks like a certain level of dude, as it were. We are slowly getting out. Like I said, you, you, some people said, uh, destroy the orc stuff. If I destroy the orc stuff, I lose 80 fucking percent public order. 
I know it's gonna fix half of the fucking stuff that we've got for like um for uh the culture being the orcs and everything, but do I really want to lose eighty fucking public order? And it's quite a lot of public order. Eh. I have a, f a feeling it's a horrible fucking idea, but there, you happy? You happy now, internet? You fucking bastards! <laughs> anyway, in eight turns, we'll deal with that. <clears throat> but yeah, the game that I'm thinking about doing is a thing called Rust, which I came across. It was, it's been on Steam. It came on Steam recently, but I think it was out in like alpha, still in alpha stages, like pre pre release kind of stages to it, and it's, uh, it's constantly getting updated. But it's like um, it's like a <laughs> ha. I just love my cough. So yeah, sorry about that. But it's like a, a less intense, realistic version of um, Daisy, like a uh, a zombie survival thing. But I, it seems to be more surviving against other players than it is anything. But I think that might just be a little, a nice little game to piss about with if I can drag Simpsy and a bunch of other people into it. And it's the kind of game that I could probably just invite a bunch of viewers to come play with. Uh, other channels and stuff I'm play with. I'd say viewers, but what would happen is we'd just take over the entire server and kill everybody. So that might be actually quite funny, but um <coughs> you go more under attack. Scave under attack. Thing magic under attack. <laughs> It'd be easier just to have them tell me what isn't under attack. Okay. <coughs> we'll do one more turn and then we'll just march north. It's not like we can't utterly destroy the orcs anyway. That's one the reason, though, why I don't find it at all the facing the AI overly challenging because it's quite fucking easy. Well, I mean, when I mean quite easy, it's very fucking easy. I've been spoiled by hot seats, is what it is. It's gotten to the point where I've been played against players, and playing against players is actually, at least some players, an actual challenge, whereas this is not, really. I know I'm going to win. We all know we're going to win. It doesn't really fucking matter. The only reason I lost the bloody Dwarven series I did for the normal Fur Jade mod, mod was because I chose to end it. I could have ran. I, I was uh, surrounded in Moria and my other fa family members got assassinated. So I only had one family member left. And rather than run and regroup and then continue the series to like part 500 or whatever the fuck parts it was on... <laughs> But that series went on for ages, so I'd, I was like, fuck it, we'll just do a last stand in Moria and uh, call it a break there. Yeah. We'll build those miners, and then we'll march out of Kazadurm and see if we can, can't take more land and shit. At the very least, we can go to the left side of the Misty Mountains and see if we can't grab some rebel territories. <coughs> But yeah, um, I might invite SimSy to do the Rust game, maybe. Or, I don't know. I enjoy playing with SimSy. It's a fucking laugh playing with him, but it's, it gets to the point where it's like, ah, the time zones are so fucking much of a pain in the ass. He either has to get up really uh, early in the morning to play with me, or I have to get up, I have to stay up all fucking night to play with him. Because when I go to sleep, he's just about to get up. And when I go, when I wake up, he's just about to go to sleep, kind of thing. Because he's in Australia and I'm in Britain and everything, it's the time zones is such a pain in the ass to be online at the same fucking time. One of us has to be an inconvenience, or the other one has to be an inconvenience, which is a pain in the ass. No thing magic lost. Gondor is, as usual, getting its ass kicked. Okay, how many men can I leave <coughs> the fucking thing magic with? Do I have any agents? No, I do not. Well, <coughs> we'll head out in this direction and see what happens. <laughs> I 
But no, no, recently it's been fucking... There's so much fucking shit like to do. Oop, someone's taken the rebel territory, which means I can't take it. Damn it. Perhaps it was taken by the orcs, which I don't think it was. We can still go to the left side of the mountain, so head up. See what happens. Really what I should have done is to take this immediately, but, you know. I is stupid like that. We could edit out these turns, but really it's like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's just more work, and I can't be arsed doing it. Uh, the lands of Aaron run the capital city. Go for and have a look at the bandits since it's falling. Blah. So now finally decided to retake the ruins against the orcs and men. Is reclaimed was a success, and the elves want to. All right, the elves. Okay, that's actually quite fitting. The elves have reclaimed the uh, the bit of land there. Hopefully, me marching through the lands doesn't piss them off too much. But we'll swing around up here and take out this. Prince Watts' face is over here. Maybe he'll help me out. Uh, shit. But now, by the time, this is going to be quite the late video because I'm recording this about lunch. So, we'll stop recording about 20 or so minutes, maybe? We started about 26 past, so. Yeah. Maybe about 20 minutes. We should be about 10 or so, 15 minutes in, maybe. I don't know. Math. Meh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, we have to stop like, recording this in like 20 minutes. And then I have to render it, which will take about two hours at the least. So what I need is an entirely separate computer. Ooh, the skill has been lost. The minister of... No, fuck off. Bloody copyright. But yeah, uh, two hours to fucking render it. And what I really need is uh, like a separate computer or a laptop so that I can have shit rendering at all times in the background on a different computer rather than this one. Because if you render shit, it fucking destroys my computer's like processing power. I need a better processor on this computer to be perfectly honest. It's fucking outdated as shit. I've got an old, I got a like sweet graphics card and nice RAM and about three terabytes of memory now. I've upgraded all of this. I've sort of upgraded everything on my computer to be pretty fucking awesome. Not like incredibly massively expensive, like a thousand dollar kind of awesome. More like a couple of hundred awesome. But uh, everything's been updated apart from my like pr computer's processor, which is like vastly outdated. <clears throat> the thing being that I have absolutely no idea how to replace a processor on my computer. Or is it like the motherboard or what? I don't know. Because everything I know about computers, I've learned from just fucking trial and error and experience. <laughs> Generally, um, I know like 101 ways to fix computer problems, but that's all because computer problems have happened to me, and I've been forced to try and fix them. <laughs> Which is quite funny, but uh, it's one way to learn. Um, crap, those guys are going to get in my way, aren't they? Um, where are my nearest diplomats? We go to my agents. I have a diplomat over here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that works. What is it with this faction's like AI and being such stuck up little pricks? Seriously, I've noticed this. Why is this fucking AI such stuck up little pricks? Okay, let's offer them 3,600 and fucking 27. Yeah, 3,600. Uh, eh? 
I have no idea what I'm typing. 3,627. What the hell? If I can just blacked out there for a second. No. Fuck off! You cunts! He won't even accept trade rights for fuck's sake! Good lord, man! I'm gonna fucking have a word with Emperor about this and smack him around the head. Fucking slap around the head on Steam. Fucking diplomacy! Fix it! Fix it! <laughs> The fucking elves should not be so uptight little b bitches about fucking alliances. Alright. There you go. There's lots of elves fighting each other. That's fine. You guys can go do that. And I will take this place. And everyone could be fucking happy. <sighs> Assuming, of course, that that one unit stays outside of the castle, we can just go right next to it and drag the garrison out. Hopefully, it won't fucking crash the desktop or anything like that. Do you? And after we've recorded this, I need to render it and get some fucking lunch because I am hungry as fuck. Uh, fuck it. We lose a lot less troops, I reckon. Uh, well, fucking it. I don't know. See, like a while ago, what I usually have is my uh, my iPhone or phone, whatever. What picture is that from? I don't remember that being from Lord of the Rings. Giant pile of bones. That's nice. Real creepy like. Anyway. Um, <laughs> what I usually have on my phone with a fucking timer. So I know how long I've been recording for. And right now I'm just fucking guessing. Because I started at like fucking uh, 26 past. And now it's 22. So <coughs> <coughs> we might not be too far off after we've done this battle. Really. Which I'll show to you my usual tactic of just fucking Zerg Rush. Well, not Zerg Rush, but you know what I mean. Soul's tactic pretty much just involves the most basic of uh, defensive and, you know. <laughs> I'm not one to fuss too much over tactical stuff. It's just generally keep the archers at the back, the infantry in front, keep them busy, send in the peons first, and usually make good use of cavalry units. But we don't have any, so... Push the routing units. You guys, keep pushing those mountain units. Do you... See, how fucking piss easy was that? <laughs> I mean, sure, it could have been probably executed a lot better. If we had cavalry, it could have routed the fuckers a lot faster. But really, it's just like, ugh. It's just so much fucking harder and more challenging with hot seats against real players. Now we chase them around the map for 20 hours.
Both of the enemy generals were already dead. Yes, end battle. Thank you. I only lost 100 or so men. Not too bad, but meh. Could have been better, but I don't really give a shit. <laughs> I mean, this is a fucking example right there. This is why I'm not overly like excited to play the game. Just because against the AI, it's so fucking piss easy. On very hard difficulty. <laughs> Having apparently just wiped out that entire fucking army. I wonder if that place has walls. Apparently it does. Uh oh. Oop. Screen went black there for a second. I thought it was going to crash. <laughs> That's fucking it would, wouldn't it? Any time now. <laughs> Turn times do take quite a while. Like I said, we could edit it out like we did with the elf campaign that I started quite a while back. Maroon Horse Region. Yeah. Hmm. The elves are thingy like me quite a bit. Exterminate the orcs. But anyway, that's ours. We'll continue to push up into the Misty Mountains and deal more fucking damage as we go. Uh, really, like I said, it's kind of utterly no fucking challenge whatsoever. Even if they vastly outnumber me, it's still fucking no challenge whatsoever. <laughs> But we'll continue to send my spy forward. Who can scout the nearby area. We'll help out these guys that look like hobbits. Only they're not hobbits. They're supposed to be men of the Vale. Which is House Aaron, but only gold, apparently. Anyway, guys, um, I think it's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to check the fucking voice recording thingy, because it's Windows, so I can do that. Uh, if the recording crashes, then we've ended it, and the annotation will be in the top right-hand side. We'll check. Okay, assuming it's still recording, which it, I believe it is, hopefully. The red light is still on. We've apparently got two minutes, so we'll just keep pushing north, I guess. Alright, we've got... Let's build a pipe hole. Increase our public order there for a bit. Go to the next turn. Apparently we've got two more minutes. We've only recorded for 28 or so minutes, according to my recording thingamajig. I'm not quite sure what the hell you saw when it did that. It might have just been nothing. See, I was actually invited to a few hot seats with this, but I'm just too busy right now to do any goddamn more hot seats that I'm already in. I'm in tons as it is. So I had to kind of decline joining one of those. A hot seat would take ages. That's, that's the thing, because you've got like free type, free uh, games that are like major for hot seats, which is Westeros. <coughs> well, 
Westeros, Third Age, and uh, Stainless Steel. Now, from what I can tell, Westeros seems to be, like, more populous, really. It seems to be more active than the other ones, but I don't really spend much time on the other ones. Stainless Steel is actually pretty good. I am in a hot seat with that, but it's kind of, like, ended, and I was recording it, which kind of sucks it's ended. Mason's Guild. It's under attack. Reinforcements have arrived. Sweet. Dwarves from the New Mountains have finally arrived at Casa Doom. They send word from the Dwarven Lords of the West who send us best regards and some of their warriors. Sweet. Eh. So what, they just sent population, did they? Was that it? Was it? <laughs> Um, <coughs> we'll build a pub, see if we can't get some, well actually, really, it's it's going up pretty fast as it fucking is. Hmm, sweet. Uh, I don't know if we'll build a building a pub, we will build a pipe hall. And we'll build a bunch of dwarves. <coughs> I can send, send High Lord Balin up north. Now, he can't die, is the only thing. If he dies, then the entire game's fucked. I'm slightly worried that all of these are chicks and that we don't have any uh, heirs. probably gone over 30 minutes now. <laughs> but oh well. We can trim down the battle a little bit and uh, cut off a few minutes. We'll keep going up north and see if we can't get to this place and see what it's like before we cut the video. Like I say, it's about 12 o'clock now. So it's going to take about two hours to rec uh, render it and then about another probably two hours to fucking upload it. So it will probably it will be like fucking the afternoon by the time this is uploaded. But uh, that's just for uh, me in England, and the majority of my viewers are from the US, so it doesn't really matter, because yeah, you guys will be getting it by the time you like wake up, so it's not too bad. You fucking Minas Tirith has fallen. Unbelievable news, my lord. In Gondor, Minas Tirith, the Tower of the Guard, has fallen to the hands of the foe, the city's... Sad sights. Tower of the Moon. Oh god. Well, as with every fucking third age game that I've ever played, the Gondor people are getting their asses kicked. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is our next battle in the next part, which should be quite interesting. In other words, we're going to completely and utterly fucking annihilate them, despite the fact that they vastly outnumber us, because the AI is that fucking stupid. Anyway, uh, I do believe we'll definitely pass 30 minutes now. Uh, if not more so, we'll have to probably cut out some of it. The name of that battle, maybe. But anyway, guys, in the next part, which will be up tomorrow, hopefully, we'll... Um We'll take on this giant army here, continue to take out most of the Mystic Mountains, and ready our defense, because Mordor is coming. <laughs> they've utterly wiped out fucking... <coughs> they've utterly wiped out Gondor, so there's not too much standing in their way to us, really. Because, you know, the good factions always get their asses kicked when they're played with the AI. I have no idea why. Anyway, guys, that's all for now. Annotation top right-hand side, I will see you there. Thanks for watching. Soul out.